Bill Road Rippy. I'm over to Pastime Park, beautiful Plain City, Ohio. Wednesday evening after 7 o'clock, the 18th of July, and the Miami Valley Steam Threshers are holding their 75th uh, steam show. And it begins tomorrow. So we're here a day early for the setup. And the main attraction is the Jonathan Alder has been refurbished by the creator to my understanding and he has a, everyone wants every man wants a, a new pair of boots and they got they put a new pair of boots on Jonathan Alder I would say that that base is new but it, uh, it looks like it was pre-existing it's over this building is a, a railroad or and then moved to the fairground they have a gas station over here the campground is packed the playground's being utilized. The sun's going down in the west. And the beautiful Majestic Oaks of Plain City with a coonskin hat. And the coons are very active getting the uh, sweet corn out here tonight. See coons everywhere. They have them cabled to um, some 4 buys, So he doesn't. He's got his Bowie knife, doesn't he? Beautiful Jonathan Alder. I wonder if he's a real estate guy like Johnny Appleseed was. Yeah, they, they have him chained down a little bit. This is okay. This is what's different. This tree's gone. There's the sun going down. Majestic oak trees. We'll look at some lines of, lines of I was going to say lines of trucks. Some lines of antique tractors over here. Quick overview. I'm not sure what I did to this arm. It's just... So anyway, just looking to the west here, into the sun. There's the five dollar bundle wood, self serve. This will all fill in with vendors, and then the food, the parts, swap, just tractors of all makes. This is a homemade unit. I think that's a school bus frame. It's an NTC Cummins. And I was thinking, no, yeah, let's, let's look a little, it'll be a, uh, we'll come back for the parade and, and just do a couple quick parade videos. Yeah, that's a naturally aspirated Cummins in that guy. Sure is. Been a while since I've seen one of them, a 220 Cummins, derated and all that, how we used to do. So we didn't have any money, we'd get, have to derate them. So the, I'm seeing these, um, I've never bought anything on a, uh, is it called Facebook Marketplace? But there was a large quantity of wheel horses made in South Bend, Indiana, that were sold here in Central Ohio. And they're they're readily available and these are pre toro and then they dissolved it out completely some red tractors so all these makes ceased to exist and were merged in with case ih and new holland and Farmall and mccormick and, and the new ideas are blue there's a beautiful ground driven but, but the, the feature make this year is john deere and they're the ones that withstood this the test of time people coming in from iowa this this will all be filled in. They have some new trees planted over here. Some cock shuts, which, uh, to my understanding, are made in Canada. A, a stray John Deere over here. That's the nicest little manure spreader. I mean, this thing looks even better in person, and I think it'll show up on the camera. It's that not a speck on it. Clean enough to eat off of manure spreader. BKT tires. There's a row of mini mows. Okay, they're over here. I'm just gonna kind of run around here and put an all-in-one film on my way to get my groceries over here. Had a few minutes. A couple of pink tractors. You can see the line of the mini mows in this building here, and the brand new Hustler on display. They got a nice spot. We're a day early for the setup. Some beautiful red tractors. They're still in use today. A miniature. It's got the hay balers. 
the one row corn picker in miniature a miniature two bottom plow you know and I, I wonder if that new holland thing works over there it, it couldn't could it i mean no, i don't think so look at that miniature four bottom huh he's got the turbo and the chrome pipe on it 1066 in miniature miniature gravity wagon which are made in ohio here by Underfur and uh, by other people. That looks like an old Gibson, but it's a tribute. Uh, once in a while, you'll see International come up here and set up. He said this was a 75th. I've been to uh, more than half a dozen or a dozen. And uh, that's, I won't be attending, I don't think. The, the, uh, the, the steam thresher coincides with the Franklin County Fair in Hayward. So these are still in use today so you know it's not that exciting to look at them but we are looking for something different i knew some people who had 730s but they're not using them today now the good stuff's in the tents usually going back to the history of john deere which is still in business today i mean and if you invested money in john deere in the 70s and I mean, they pay dividends. Talk about a dream, but all the other ones you would have been broke, basically. So I don't know how, uh, you know. 36. And they started with the moldboard board plow back whenever that was. Before the gas engine. This engine here um, was used on different models too, wasn't it? And then. Um, to get those engines probably and you build your own tractors and they couldn't build them fast enough there's another 730 a little loader 1010 type it's a uh, square fender something with a diaper on it no combines no harvesters no sprayers 620s 2520 I kind of like those three cylinder ones too. I'm not sending any round fender ones. A cultivator tractor, an LA parade tractor. Those are fun to see in the parades because they, they wobble when they run. A mini, uh, combine a miniature, someone coming in on the hook, and a big daddy John Deere coming in with the duels on it. Big parade tractor, 4320, a rare one. A rare 4320. This is kind of a rare one, unit here, a constructor model. Very sexy constructor model. John Deere with a seat in the back. It's got the Green Acres thing going on. It looks like a looks like a General Motors diesel engine in there, of some sort. Very unique engine in these guys. This is an 840, uh, some kind of maintainer. Or a tug. Not sure. Very unique John Deere here. That first one I remember seeing, and possibly this guy. But, you know, that, um, that right to maintain, right to repair thing, really, I mean, I wasn't that wild about JD, really, in a way, with the farming credit, but... That right to repair thing, you know, that burnt me on them. And you see it over there. It's got the PTO and the Hydro. Not sure what we're looking at here. Look at those wheels. 26 rubber on the back. We're not going to get a better look at this engine on this side. I thought they'd give you a better look at it. But that was that other one. I think it's this engine that's in that one. Very beefy. Looks like a multi-fuel engine. The pulley system up here. Doesn't appear to be gas. Big heavy duty front bumper on that guy. Has the live over here on the side and weights on the rear 
a D, which I think has connections to Columbus, Ohio. Beautiful Ds, MTs. It's a little gas job in this guy. A cute, a very cute John Deere right here on the end. The Bs and the LA and yellow. A 4010 diesel set up for cold weather. So is that a gas? This 2510 is a gas. No, it is a diesel. A 4010 diesel. Show tractors. Flatbed wagons. The girls' tractor. The Johnny Poppers. Under the majestic oak trees. Uh, Looking at my clock, I made pretty good time. The rose bushes are kind of halfway, aren't they? Lots of nice flowers out now. I'm surprised they look like they could use a little fertilizer. Seems like there was more roses on them when they have these. And then um, thousands of houses just popped up overnight over here. Remember the laundry mat? Oh, the laundry mat's been converted into something else. Not sure what you do with, when you're camping and you need to go to the laundry mat. You better have a quarter tank of gas anyway, because you're, you're going to be in for a drive. As far as I know, and uh, the Google will tell you that it's hard to find a laundry mat in Ohio. It's a, it's about the water and the car wash. The, we have the worst car washes and laundry mats as far as access to them. And then what would it be like, you know, seven bucks for a load of clothes or something? It's four bucks to start the car wash for two and a half minutes. I'm not kidding you. So that's why I, uh, I curb found a, uh, a pressure washer. And that's why if I came here, you, you can buy so many parts and zip ties. And it's unbelievable the, the guy stuff you can buy at a steam show. But I pieced together my own pressure washer and you know, so that I have that much more money instead of throwing it in way at the car wash. Actually, they use the automatic where you pay by the month. Here we go. Here's this little, it's a two cylinder, a little mower tractor with a newer alternator, one wire. That's, that's a very useful tractor right there, you'd think. Dangerous though. Not sure what the bar underneath is doing. It's to hold a belly mower, isn't it? It's only 22 horsepower. So yeah, I wouldn't want to pick one of the yellow ones for my favorite one. Kind of like that one, I think. That little two-cylinder one. The 420, aren't they three-cylinder? Yeah. I like a 420, which they were also a 44, weren't they? No, they're they're only two cylinder. That's kind of what that one was. Yeah, these are kind of my favorite one right here. This one looks bigger though. It's marked a 1956 420 from Delaware, Ohio. Pretty beautiful uh, 3010, and it's got this flip um, plow on it, so you don't have to turn around at the end of the rows and. You just, you flip it, and no one around here had anything like that. So they went above and beyond to acquire this plow that probably came from out west. Uh, I had never in my life seen anyone use one of those. That's, that's why they brought it to the show. It's so unique. Probably went through a lot of trouble to um, acquire it. Or just to locate it. These folks are from DeGraff over at uh, Champaign County. And the, it's a strictly a show machine. It's very beautifully restored ones. So I'm kind of digging that. And yeah, the heavy hitters from John Deere will come in. And uh, there's my Prius. And we're going to go buy some groceries now. Head over home and feed some catfish, but 75th um, Miami Valley Steam Threshers in Plain City at the Pastime Park with Bill Thanks for watching.